right, the court will uh, recall the case of Jamil Forbes, case number 22S00957, SM. Rachel McDuffie for the people. And good morning, Your Honor. Assistant Public Defender Chinazi Kerry, I can really on behalf of Mr. Jamil Forbes. Mr. Forbes, could you state your name for the record, please? Jamil? Okay. Mr. Jamil Forbes. Yes. Thank you. Judge, we are here for a sentencing for Mr. Forbes. Um, we have reviewed the PSI with Mr. Forbes. Um, he is, there are no corrections or changes to be made to the report as a whole. Um, we are asking that the court follow the recommendation. Uh, we also wanted to ask Ms. McDuffie, I wasn't able to send over um, an email, but we were asking for consideration to, for Haida to at least remain open, see how well Mr. Forbes is doing on probation. I know that probation was concerned about um, the ability to successfully complete it, um, but we're asking that if he is able to uh, do well on probation, that Haida be considered at that time. Um. I'm not, I can't really, I can't really address that now because um, number one, I'm not in favor of it based on what I know at this point. And two, the request is to consider that at the end of this essentially. So I guess we can revisit it um, then, but I, I um, yeah, that, that's the only answer I can give you now is that it's not looking very good, um, but per your request, we can look at that once he has shown something for me to consider. Anything else from you, Ms. Akiriakon? Not at this time, Your Honor. We're just asking that the court follow the recommendation. I'm not likely to do that. Do you have um, Ms. Uh, McDuffie? Yeah. Your Honor, so one thing, Mr. Um, Mr. Flake is present and I believe he would like to make a statement. Um, I'm gonna let him pretty much take the wheel um, with respect to those representations to the court. I just wanted to point out one thing because I'm not sure if it was something that was um, listed in the report or obvious from the circumstances, but the context of this offense, um, I appreciate that the recommendation includes domestic violence programming because that is the context of this event. What happened is that Mr. Forbes was convicted on um, a domestic violence related charge with Mr. Flake's daughter on July 20th of 22 in a 1481 district court. Um, apparently upset about that conviction. Uh, he was scheduled for sentencing in September and this offense happened right in the middle of that in August of, 20, um, August of 22, um, right in between that conviction and that sentencing time. So this message is, somewhat retaliatory, I guess, um, in that context. So I appreciate the fact that even though it wasn't um, obvious in these circumstances that that programming was ordered, because I think it's definitely necessary. With that, Mr. Flake is present to speak. Mr. Flake, you may proceed, sir. There's a great level of disappointment when it comes to dealing with Jamil here. You've been shown to be violent. You've been shown to be arrogant. You've also, the fact that you even showed up in this courtroom with a hoodie on, trying to look like some kind of thug or miscreant, it's disturbing. You literally sat up here, sent me a picture and told me that I must be disappointed as a father, disappointed in my daughter. My daughter, I've never been more proud of. My daughter is strong. My daughter is competent. You wrote my daughter's coattails. My daughter is a model. My daughter works hard. My daughter has pulled down an associate's degree. My daughter was dual enrolled. My daughter is a bright shining light, a source of pride for me. Now, since you wanna sit up here and try to talk about my disappointment, how does your mom feel about you right now? How does your stepfather feel? Your dad didn't even want anything to do with you. You don't hold down a decent job. You're violent towards women and yet you're a wimp when it comes to standing in front of me. You are a disappointment as a black man. 
You are a disappointment as a man, period. Again, surely your mother is disappointed in you. You're no good example to your siblings. You've run around and dragged this thing out forever trying to avoid even being held accountable. You can't even proclaim yourself Your Honor, guilty if I may. in this court. No, you may not. Okay. You put in a plea of no low contender because you can't even stand up and be accountable for your own actions. Trying to tell me what a man is, you're less than. You tried to break my daughter. You tried to humiliate me by sending me those pictures. You had no right to do that to my daughter and you were dead wrong for trying to do that to me. Not only am I disappointed, I'm angry. I really don't feel that six months is enough, but it is a start. I've literally reached out and tried to help you as one black man to another. And you do this, it's like slapping me, it's like spitting in my face. I hope that you do indeed get the help that you need. The next person you offend might not be as gracious as I am. The next time you offend, this court might just not be as merciful. But I hope you take the time and realize that this kind of stuff will not be tolerated anymore. I'm disgusted by you. On top of that, honestly, I just don't like you anymore. I had bad feelings about you when you first entered my daughter's life. And this is known by her whole family. And you did nothing but prove me right. Every sneaky backhanded tactic you have ever pulled, every, every narcissistic behavioral trait you've shown, and you had the nerve to lay hands on my baby. Under normal circumstances, you wouldn't be walking a living right now, man. You don't deserve a woman like my daughter. You don't deserve your freedom for the actions that you that you rendered out here. I really have nothing more to say to you than you are just nothing but a waste of time and space, man. I hope this court is with you to the full extent. And that's my baby right there. That's Hi. my baby. Still standing. And I am proud of you for being here today. Very Thanks. much so. You are a strong, resilient, young black woman. And please do not look at his actions as the thing that black men do. We are better. I hope that I've been a good example. I know that your grandfather has been. We are better than this man. We are. And as the future unholds, I, 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 I just hope that you're able to conquer these issues that you had to deal with. I've seen you be strong, moving past your anxiety, moving past your depression, and still being a productive person in society. I am proud of you, Tajane. Thank you. And let's make Am I allowed to quick. speak? If yes, you want to. As soon to. as your dad is done, yes. Okay. The floor is yours, Tajane. Handle this and let's get this behind us. Go ahead. As my dad also said, I'm sorry, it's kind of hard for me. Um, I have, like, you know, absolutely nothing but love. And it's the fact that you could turn around and do something like that. Despite, like, everything that we've been through, you know. And at the end of the day, um, I don't really have too much to say. Because as he would constantly tell me, he doesn't care about my feelings or he doesn't really care what I have to say. Um, I just don't feel that six months is enough time. And I would really like for him to do the um, domestic violence classes and for him to do the anger management as well. And it's like, uh, I'm sorry. You got this, Nate. Take your time. I stood by you for years. 
years when you told me you didn't have nobody else, you were going through stuff, I was there for you. And you put me through so much, so much mentally, physically. And for you to not even take accountability for your own actions. It's so messed up. It's so disappointing. But I hope that this will be a learning experience for you. After all you done, I still don't wish no bad blood on you, but karma will do what it's destined to do. And one day, I just hope you could really be a man and learn and figure out how to do things the right way and to do right by a woman you so claim that you love. I have nothing more to say. Thank you. Thank you both. Thank you for this time, Your Honor. You're welcome. Can I see counsel and probation in a breakout room? All right, um, Mr. Flake and Ms. Uh, is she still here? Yeah, she's Robertson. Ms. Robertson, you're going to with Ms. McDuffie from the prosecutor's office, and then okay, uh, Mr. Forbes is going to go with Ms. Akiriaki. I can really. Stephen Salinas? Yeah, we're present, ready, Judge. All right, if you come down, please. Court is calling 2015 CR 12154, State of Texas versus Stephen Allen Salinas. Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? Travis Banks of the State of Texas. Defense? Uh, Robert Gear, Your Honor, for Defendant Stephen Salinas, and we are ready. And are you Stephen Salinas? Yes, ma'am. All right, I'm going to show you what's entitled Motion to Enter Adjudication of Guilt and Revoke Community Supervision. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? I did. Are you the same Stephen Allen Salinas who's placed on deferred adjudication in 2015 CR 12154 for the offense of continuous violence against family on March 16, 2016 for a period of five years? Is that you? Yes, ma'am. All right, state. Uh, violated condition number two on or about the 19th day of October 2020 in Bear County, Texas, the defendant, Stephen Allen Salinas, did then and there illegally use a controlled substance, namely cocaine, in violation of condition number two. Just one moment. Can you plead to that true or not true? It's true. State? The state will waive and abandon the other allegations. Any objection? No objections from defense, Your Honor. All right, did you understand by pleading true to violation of condition number two, the court could find it true, grant the motion, find you guilty, sentence you up to 10 years in prison and up to a $10,000 fine? Yes, ma'am. Knowing that, do you still wish to plead true to violation of condition number two? That's true. Do you still wish to plead true? Yes, ma'am. All right, the court will find violation of condition number two true. Is there an agreement? Mr. Honor, the agreement and recommendation should your honor choose to follow it is um, the to revoke the, the defendant's community supervision, to um, sentence the defendant, to adjudicate the case and sentence the defendant to um, two years in the Texas Department of Corrections and give him credit for any time he's already served. All right, why should I sentence him to the minimum? Has he done anything on probation? Yes, Judge, may it please the court. Um, Defendant was charged with uh, continuing violence. Uh, he did attend and complete the BIP course in this matter to address that. Um, there was also some allegations of drug use. Just one second. Sorry.
All right, you may continue. Yes, Judge, sorry. Um, and in addressing the uh, uh, alleged drug use, he did attend and complete the bear outpatient program in this matter. Um, because of these charges, there was also CPS intervention um, with the- his... why, why are you crying? Because I lost my son. In what way did you lose your son? Has he, did he pass? No. All right. All right, so you lost your son because you didn't do what you were supposed to do. That's what, these are called consequences. I know. You may continue. Yes, Judge, thank you. Um, CPS uh, intervened and he had to take multiple classes in regards to CPS, uh, parenting, counseling, uh, the whole works over there. He also did uh, complete 117 hours of community service in this matter, Judge. Um, the one allegation of, of drug use was from October of 2020. Um, judge will look at the back page. From then until he was expired in March, there was a whole page full of negative tests between then and the uh, ex expiration of his probation. Um, we understand that we're here because he was not a perfect probationer, but we will uh, affront to the court that he did do quite a bit of what he was required to do, uh, including the classes, the community service hours, and tending to the issues made the basis of this case. Thank you. All right, State, why should I follow this agreement? Um, Your Honor, I would echo what defense said, um, because he uh, completed many of the terms on probation and drug treatment. Um, and uh, at the end of his probation, he was, um, providing negative drug tests um, on his UAs. All right, probation, is there anything you wish to say? Your Honor, the case expired in 2021. So we're past the year mark, jurisdiction and so forth. Um, the recommendation from probation is to report, revoke or term unsatisfactory if the balance is paid in full. All right, so where uh, you want to raise your right hand for me? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony here will be the truth and nothing but the truth to help you, God? Yes, ma'am. All right, you can lower your hand and state your name for the record. As, as, as Stephen Salinas. All right, Mr. Salinas. So what happened with your CPS case? Um, well, like. Were your rights terminated? Yes, ma'am. And your son, was your son adopted out? He was. Is it to people you know or not know? I mean, it's it's to her family, but you know, it's hard to see him. All right. So, when's the last time you used before you were taken into custody? Last time I used. Mm -hmm. A long time ago, ma'am. When is that? I mean, October of twenty twenty. Like, I mean, like I really don't do anything. I go to work. I mean, I drink beer after work, but that's about it. Can't be drinking beer because that causes slip up. Don't change one addiction for another. Yes, it's sort of, yes, I when I see a lot of times. people in treatment, guess what? They don't use cocaine or whatever anymore, but they change smoke. So you've got to do better. You understand? Yes, ma'am. So did you have empl employment? Yes, ma'am. Um, um, but like I've been a technician uh, for uh, Sun Auto um, for about three and a half years. And in the last uh, couple of months, I've been self-employed as a mobile mechanic. Okay. You know, on top of that, I was just about to go to college and everything before I got picked up. And um, but like I did check to see if there was a warrant to take care of this. But, but I mean, did you think this was just going to go away? I mean, I didn't know what happened after, like just after my PO told me that probation was over, and then, and then when it came time, when it came time for, uh, just for me to get my ID, that's when I was calling in to see if I had a warrant to take care of all this, and I would have been here sooner. All right, and are you still in contact with <laughs> Francis? I haven't spoken to her in years. All right. Is there anything, any other questions from either side? 
nothing further from defense your honor well it appears that he completed all of the conditions that were asked of him it appears that he hasn't picked up any new cases am i right that is correct your honor. and the cocaine positive ua is from 2020. you are correct your honor. and so we're in 2023 now that's correct and so is there any uh suspicion that he has used beyond that 2020 date from either side? Judge has no evidence of that. Judge from defense, we have um, no suspicion. I know he, from chatting with him, he's been employed, really gainfully employed. Uh, and I would assume that continuously gainful employment uh, would negate the use um, and the consequences that stem from that, Judge. All right, this is what the court is going to do. Um, the court is finding violation condition number two true. Uh, there is to be no contact with Savannah, S-A-V-A-N-N-A-H, Francine, F-R-A-N-C-E-N. And if it wasn't stated before by the previous judge, there's an affirmative finding of family violence. Court will deny the motion and terminate you on set. Is there anything else from either side? Nothing further, Nothing further from the state. All right, we can go off the record. You are gonna to have to make better decisions. You understand? Yes, when you have an obligation you can't just think, oh, I'm doing great, so I don't have to answer to the obligations. Part of drug treatment is making amends. And part of making amends is making amends to um, people that you've entered into contracts with. You understand? The only reason why I'm terminating you on set because these allegations are from 2020. Uh, according to the probation report, it shows that you've done everything that you were supposed to do on probation, yes. You owe some court fees, but it's not due to restitution. Uh, are we off the record? Okay, I just want to make sure. All right. With regards to your child, you know the people who have your child. Sometimes in CPS cases, strangers adopt children and you don't know who have them. So you need to straighten out your life. I don't know what your relationship is with your in-laws or what's going on. But I do know that sometimes if someone has a child who was with you, right, and they are not the child their parent wanted to be, sometimes the parent blames the person who was with them. So you need to better yourself. And maybe if you get your life together, 100%, they'll let you see your child. You understand? Yes, All right. Good luck to you. Thank you. You're welcome.